I think one of the great strengths of Music at Queen's is the sense of informality and family that we create. There's a big sense of community. It's, it's crazy. Like, you can't even sort of comprehend it before you're in it. Whether they're in the same year as you're not, you know, you end up talking to everyone because everyone has a similar passion, which is music. We have a lot of social spaces, so students always hang out around here on the couches and um, just help each other out. And the classes are not so big. We know all the students and they know us. We all know the staff on a first name basis, which is really helpful. And we're just people who, like, wanted you to succeed, I think, as well. That's, that's the key thing. Like, your lecturers always want you to do well. We have two buildings. We have this building we're in today, which is the music building. This building includes the Hardy Room, which is a concert hall. And we have in the basement a whole labyrinth of practice rooms and some studios. And then we also have the Sonic Arts Research Centre, which was opened in 2004, which is really a state-of-the-art centre for research and teaching in the areas of music as it is transformed and expanded through technology and uh, computers. We have there the Sonic Lab, which is another concert hall. We call it the IMAX of the ears because you basically sit on a suspended grid and you have sounds all around you. I mean, honestly, it sounds a bit stupid, but I'm trying to think what we don't have. I mean, we have an amazing library. We have in the basement area, surround sound studios. We do a lot of stuff that's linking in with industry there. So we have people working in VR and virtual reality and augmented reality. We even have a Foley studio for people who are interested in filmmaking. The students in this building and the music building have access access to practice rooms and most of the time they're not filled up so it's not like in other conservatoires that I've been where you cannot get five minutes into a room. Everything's so accessible for like students we just go on the website and just book it out. There's such a variety of spaces between soundproofed spaces which sound very much like a studio setting and other ones are big halls with immense reverb and it's just whatever kind of style plan you want you know if it's classical or rock, jazz, you know, there's somewhere for you to practice that sounds right. That's something we really value, is that people come from classical backgrounds, trad backgrounds, heavy metal groups, jazz, dance music, um, many other genres, and they all sort of come together, in some sense, in a big melting pot. We now have five music degrees to cater for all kinds of interests and all kinds of backgrounds. Some of them are going to be focusing more on the area of music technology. Some of them are going to be more general. Some of them will be focused more on performance. There's a lot of flexibility throughout the degrees. Everything is open to you. I mean, you, you know, composition, performance in very general terms, but you can also go into much more of audio engineering, um, you know, recording. If you wanted to be a film composer, you know, you learn to compose for a film. But also, if you're more academically inclined and you want to be, let's say, a music critic, or something you learn how to write academically about music. Uh, if you're great at performing any kind of genre, you know, I always encourage students to first you just try everything and then usually in the second year you get a feeling of what you want to specialise in. With the performance modules comes the funding to pay for individual tuition and ensemble tuition depending on whether you're doing solo or ensemble classes. We aim to provide modules that, that tackle many facets of what a musician might need. For example, there's an arts management module, music history, improvisation, music psychology. I was a little bit worried coming into Queen's just because I didn't know theory very well. When you come in, you're all kind of brought up to speed, whether you, you're like really advanced, whether you, you've no idea, you're a complete novice in it. Everyone is really good at certain things and it kind of levels out overall. There are also plenty of performance opportunities outside of class. We have many ensembles. Uh, at the moment we have an orchestra, a choir, a chamber choir, a big band, uh, a trad group. There's an electronic dance music society. There is an a cappella group. There's a music theatre group. Ensembles are popping up all the time. We work with local recording artists who again tutor our students. So there's this real interchange between people who live and work locally. Something that struck me when I arrived here was how much everybody seemed to value individuality and uh, sort of focus on what students want to get out of things. Keen to find out what everyone else is interested in and get them to do more of that and get them to do that really well. 